Hey guys, Proper English here, and what I've got here is my first attempt at an analog to binary converter. So we've got an analog input over here, based on signal strength, of course, and a binary output over here. So let's test it out. We'll start by testing 15. And you can see all of the outputs turn on. We've got 1, 2, 4, and 8. We add that up, it's 15. We can test a couple more. We'll do 13 next. We've got 1 plus 4 is 5, plus 8 is 13. And let's do one more. We'll grab a low one. How about a 6? You can see we've got 2 and 4 is 6. And so this thing is pretty neat. I'm sure this can be compacted quite a bit. In fact, I know it can because I can use dispensers over here to generate the appropriate signal strength. I just wanted to have these lines so you could see exactly what's going on here. And uh, yeah, so I'm probably going to go in and see if I can find any other methods to do this, but let's take a look at exactly what's going on in this circuit. So for our demonstration, we'll set an input of 9. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is send it over here to a subtractor. All right, so I've set this comparator to subtract, and we're attempting to subtract 8 from 9. And of course we can. We get an output of 1. So this over here has a signal strength of 1. If I try to extend it any further, we don't get anything. And so what this does is it actually shuts off this alternative pathway over here, and we'll take a look at what this is for shortly. Now, the next thing that happens is we attempt to subtract 4. All right, So if we subtract 4 from 1, we get a 0. But that doesn't tell us anything. So in this case, this pathway over here is on because when we subtract we get a zero. Okay, and so what can happen now is we can send a signal over here and bypass this unit. So it goes to the next one. You can see the exact same thing happens over here. When we try to subtract two, we get a zero, so we bypass it, come over here, and now we try to subtract one. And so this brings us to the final part of this circuit. Now, when I subtract 1 from 1, we get a 0 over here, and that is no good because we can't use that signal. Well, what I've done is I've set up the bypass so that it performs a second subtraction. So we try to subtract 1 from 1, and if we can, this torch can turn on. We send that over to our output, and we turn the 1 on, and that is how this works. It's not too bad. This, uh, like I said, can probably be compacted and made a bit more efficient, and I'm going to try to do that, but I thought I would show you my concept. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and hopefully you learned something. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.